Okay, super quick, super simple guide how to set up custom conversions in Facebook slash Meta. So what I want to do is know that when people sign up for this lead magnet, in this case, it's a free funnel audit. If you want a free funnel audit, I'll put the link down below. But when they sign up, I want to know which ad they came from, and I want to know how much it cost me from my ads to get those signups. So all we need is a specific URL that someone goes after they sign up. So after they complete whatever action you want them to complete, whether that's a sale, a call booked, a sign up, whatever it is, they need to then go to a new page with a unique URL. And then we're going to head into Meta here in our business manager. And we're going to go to business settings. And we'll let it load up. Then we are going to go to data sources, custom conversions, add custom conversion, create new custom conversion. This is what we want. So we'll create a new custom conversion. Then what we want to do is come here and select the correct pixel. In this case, current digital schools. We want to name it. So I'm going to do MM. That's my brand marketing mark. Uh, funnel audit opt-in. Not adults, audit. <laughs> all right, there we go. But a lot of opt-in. Then what, all I need to do is come in here and grab this section of the URL. This is very this is very important. Every website, every landing page, everything I have is on this website, marketwithmark.com. But this side, after the forward slash, this is specific to the specific page that I want to track. So I only need to grab... So after the forward slash and anything after that, in this case, mm-audit-confirmation. So we'll go ahead and plug that into URL contains. Okay, so this is the standard that it defaults to, and this is what we want, URL contains. Now, if this was a sale, if I was selling something, I could click enter a conversion value and put whatever the value is so it can automatically calculate my return on investment and ad spend. Uh, that being said, Facebook's calculations are not very accurate. Uh, so do keep that in mind. And I just realized my camera was crooked this whole time, but oh well. So once we have this, we're just going to go ahead and click save. And here we have our custom conversion, but don't leave this page just yet. This is where a lot of people get hung up and then they go to their ads manager and they don't see their conversion. It's because they did not go and click on connected assets and do assign assets and select your ad account. In this case, again, current digital schools. Now we can head over if we want and test this here in events manager. And the way you would do this is just grab your URL open it in a new tab, make sure any ad blockers or anything are off. We can see that my Facebook pixel is triggering. Uh, go ahead and refresh this a few times. Now here in events manager, we can come over to custom conversions and we can see right here that it is active and firing. So now all I need to do if I want to select this as an ad is go to my ads manager Go to the correct ad account, current digital schools, go to campaigns, create campaign, select my sales objective, manual sales campaign, and then come in here to conversion location, website, select my pixel, and here it is right here. Funnel audit opt-in. So now when I set up my ads, I'm going to have a bunch of different creatives and copies and variants. I'm going to know which ads are actually getting my leads, and I'm going to know my cost per lead. Hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, put them down below. A bunch of free stuff down in the description as well. See you next time. Peace.